must every Christian filled with the Holy Spirit speak in tongues? I'm a Pentecostal. I'm Protestant Evangelical Pentecostal. Um, so Pentecostal views are, are what I share. But not every Christian shares the Pentecostal views. Um, there are people who believe that speaking in tongues is valid, but it's seized. And there are people who also believe it didn't cease. It continues, but not everybody has that as a gift. Um, if you look at the biblical records in the book of Acts, um, you would find that in instances when the Holy Spirit came upon people and it's recorded as such, there was always some attendant manifestation. In, in chapter 2, of the book of Acts, they spoke in tongues. Uh, chapter 4 says they were filled with the Holy Spirit at the same people again, but it doesn't say they, speak, they spoke in tongues. But <clears throat> in the home of Cornelius, they spoke in tongues. Uh, and Peter said that they received the Holy Spirit just as we did on the day of Pentecost. Um, I believe that speaking in tongues is normative or is normal to everybody who is filled with the Holy Spirit. And the person may decide not to exercise that ability, uh, but they have the ability. And uh, because if you read the, how the book of Acts puts it, it says, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Pause. And they spoke and they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So you're talking about different things happening. Filled with the Holy Spirit, beginning, uh, being given utterance and beginning to speak in tongues. Now, a person can be filled with the Holy Spirit and not speak in tongues because he chooses not to. But I believe that if when a person is filled with the Holy Spirit, they are given the utterance to speak in new tongues. So it's left to the person to take advantage that, of that's, God that's has my them. position. Right. But, you know, there, there are many really beautiful, great Christians who have not exercised that gift. You know, indeed, one of my uh, all-time uh, role models is Billy Graham. And he was an evangelical Christian, um, believed in the work of the Holy Spirit, and moved in the power of the Holy Spirit with his evangelistic ministry, but didn't speak in tongues. Uh, and I'm not going to say he's less of a Christian than other people who, who spoke in tongues. But I believe that if Billy Graham wanted to speak in tongues, he would have spoken in tongues.